Many of you may think that we, the Homo sapiens, are the only living species in the planet. But the truth is that there are many other human species that have walked this ground before us and we are the only species that survived. Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, we are going to talk about the various kinds of human species that existed before us. But before we do that, please remember to check our previous videos and hit like and subscribe. There are many types of human species that many don't know about. These have varying features and characteristics, some that they have even left behind with us. So let us take a brief look. Homo sapiens, starting the list with the last surviving species of the genus said to have first appeared in Africa about 200,000 years ago, we are what they call the modern humans or the wise men. Characterized by erect posture, bipedal locomotion, larger complex brains and manual dexterity, we have been able to spread across the rest of the world and no species seem to have been able to compete with our technological and artistic advances. Homo rodensiensis. This is an extinct hominin species said to have been living between 400,000 and 125,000 years ago. It was so named because it was found in northern Rhodesia, now Zambia. It is known as Rhodesian man. The skull is commonly referred to as the broken hill skull or the cartway cranium and was found from an extremely robust individual which was seen to have comparatively the largest brow ridges of any known hominin remains. Homo sapiens idaltu. This is a subspecies of the Homo sapiens that went extinct. Idaltu means the elder, otherwise known as the Herto man or the firstborn. According to research, they lived approximately 160,000 years ago in Pleistocene Africa. First discovered at Hertaburi near the middle Awash site of Ethiopia's Afa Triangle in 1997 by Tim White, they were said to have developed from the Homo rodensiensis. Homo gotengensis Fossils of this species were found in the Stockfontein Cave near Johannesburg, South Africa and the skull showed that they had big teeth to chew plant materials. This species stood just over 3 feet tall and weighed about 110 pounds. It was said to have been small-brained and most researchers believed they lacked in speech and language skills especially due to the same and they believe it was a pretty close relative of the Homo sapiens. Homo neanderthalensis. The Neanderthals were found to have emerged at least 200,000 years ago during the Pleistocene epoch in Eurasia. They are sometimes labelled the cousin of our species and are the most famous of all the extinct human species. This is because their features resemble that of modern humans. The name Neanderthal derives from the Neander Valley in Germany where the fossils were first found. Homo habilis, translating to the able man or the handyman, this is the one that is the least similar of all the other species. It inhabited parts of sub-Saharan Africa between 2.4 to 1.4 million years ago and went extinct in the same. They were short and had disproportionately long arms compared to modern humans with ape-like features such as a moderately prognathic face. The cranial capacity is slightly less than half of the size of modern humans. Homo rudolfensis Displaying less prognathism and a rounder brain case rather than a bunny one, they are believed to have lived around 1.9 to 1.8 million years ago. The species name rudolfensis comes from the lake Turkana, East Rudolf, Kenya, where the fossils of this species was found. It was found that a male Homo rudolfensis has bigger teeth when compared to a female. Homo naledi This is the most recently discovered human relative found to have existed between 300,000 and 200,000 years ago in South Africa according to unofficial reports. They had a surprising combination of features with modern and archaic traits in which some parts of its skeleton are indistinguishable from those of living people while other parts look almost ape-like. Reports also show that they had a small head with white hips. Denisova hominin 
Fragments of their fossils were found in the remote Denisova cave in the Atlai Mountains in Siberia about 200,000 to 50,000 years ago and hence they are also known as the Denisovans. This is a cave which has also been inhabited by Homo neanderthalensis and the Homo sapiens. However, since so little is known about them, there is a slight reluctance in giving them any specific name yet. Homo antecessa the word antecessor means explorer and due to scarcity of their fossils, a little is known about their physical appearance. They were said to have been present in parts of Western Europe like Spain, England and France and lived between 1.2 million to 0.8 million years ago. Studies show that they might have been right-handed and used a symbolic language to communicate. They were about 5.5 to 6 feet tall and researchers think that they may have had same development stages as us. Homo ergaster These were the species with thinner bones along with a more protrusive facial structure which led to the thinking that they had restricted physical ability to regulate breathing. They lived approximately for 500,000 years in Africa before disappearing from the fossil record around 1.4 million years ago. They had a bigger cranial capacity than other species along with a lower forehead. So to sum up, their body was so much alike to the Homo sapiens. Homo hedelbrugensis Found to have emerged from Africa, their fossils were first found by a man in Germany. They walked on Earth between 700,000 and 200,000 years ago and their approximate height was found to be 5 feet 5 and weighed around 58 kilograms. Findings show that they might have been the first species to adapt to lower temperatures since they built their own shelters and the first to have buried the dead. Homo floresiensis the species were quite small in size and standing only about 3 feet tall, they were also called the hobbits. They were believed to have lived in Indonesia around 95,000 years to 17,000 years ago. Along with their small body, they also had a small brain but they had unusually large and long feet. Some evidences tells us that perhaps the species made stone tools and used to hunt small elephants and large rodents. Homo erectus. It was found that this species is usually between 4.9 feet to 6 feet tall which means they are of average height. They were the more primitive species found in Indonesia which were also found in Africa, India, China, Georgia and Java. Their face was less protrusive but had extremely long legs and short arms and were found to have lived throughout the Pleistocene period from about 1.9 million years ago to almost recently 143,000 years ago. And that brings us to the end of the list. Hope we gave you some of the needed information. Thanks for watching and please remember to support our channel by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. You can also drop in your thoughts in the comment section below.